Hi, my name is Tom Prowse and I'm a Data School Consultant at the Information Lab. In this session, I will go through a couple different techniques on how to identify and fix when you've got duplicated data within Tableau Prep. My first example is when there are multiple lines which are duplicated within your data source. As you can see here, we have different products with a product IT ID, a product name and their price. But as you can see, with product A001, with chocolate bars, there are two, they're duplicated rows, and we only want to keep one of those. So this is really easy to identify within prep, as, as you can see here, if I hover over the, the bar, it shows there's two rows, where we probably would only expect one row per product ID, as is the same for all the rest of the, the product IDs. So to overcome this, we can use an aggregation step. So to get the aggr aggregate, we press the plus, choose aggregate. Now from here, we want to group by all of our products and product IDs. So we can do this by selecting product ID, bringing this into group fields, and then the same with our product name as well. So this will return one row for each product ID and product name combination. Now we want to also bring through the price. So if we drag price onto aggregated fields, Notice how the chocolate bars now are priced at one. So this at the moment is summing together both of the prices for 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 are bringing to a price of one. However, this is twice as much as we would expect. So therefore we can change the aggregation here from a sum to an average. Notice how for chocolate bars, this has now reduced to 0 0.5, which is what we're expecting. So if I bring another clean step after this aggregate, we now only have the four rows and none of our data is duplicated. So this is just one example of how to duplicate, deduplicate data within Tableau Prep, but sometimes we can't use an aggregate as shown in this second example here. So this data is a list of employees. So we have the employee ID, the employee name, the status or what job they're currently doing, and then their employment date. So as you can see down here, each row is a different point in time. So as you can notice, when someone changes the status of their job, this just gets added to another another row. So for example, Carl here has well, started as a consultant, but then later changed to be a trainer. So when we're working through this, sometimes it's great to see each individual role, but other times we just want to see what the employee's latest role is. However, we can't use a aggregate tool with this because it will bring through every, um, every combination of row where it is employee name and status. So we need to think of something a bit different here. And this is where the uh, Tableau Prep fixed LODs come into play. So the first step here is we want to create a fixed LED on the employment date. So we can choose the three dots, go down to calculated field and select fixed LOD. This opens up the visual calculation editor for, for Tableau Prep. We can double click up the top here and we want to return a latest date. So that's the name we are going to give the calculation. From here, we want to group by employee ID. And then instead of the minimum, we want to bring the maximum. So in a sense, we are just, get, just returning the, ma the latest date where the status had changed. So notice down here, Carl now only has the 4th of the 2nd, 2019 on both rows of data, which you can see here is the latest date. So after this, now we've got the latest date on each row we can use a filter just here. Now we want to say, we want to filter and keep the rows where the latest date is equal to the employment date. So this is saying, if the latest date is equal to the employment date, this is the row we want to keep. We press save and notice how there's only four rows. Now one for each person and Carl, his latest, um, the status of his latest employment is a trainer and with the latest date. 
and you just notice how we've reduced the amount of rows and get got rid of any duplications. Now, there was a great blog post on the Prepping Data website on how to deduplicate data. So please take a look at this in the link in the description. And this goes into great detail and goes through another couple of techniques as well. I hope this has covered some of the techniques to help you deduplicate your data. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and take a look at the related video, which is all about pivoting from columns to rows.